Good evening and welcome to 6-1. Queuing to leave the country, thousands of people turned up at an international jobs fair in Cork today, hoping to escape unemployment at home and to make new lives abroad. New employment figures today reveal that the numbers at work did rise during the final three months of last year by 10,000. That's the first quarterly increase in four years. But the overall numbers at work, at 1.8 million, is still almost 40,000 lower than a year ago. And unemployment, which doesn't take account of emigration figures, now stands at just over 300,000. Queues began to form outside the conference centre at the Silver Springs Moran Hotel from around 7 o'clock this morning. The queues were separated into two lines. The first for ticket holders who pre-booked extended up the hill back towards the main hotel. The second for those without tickets snaked from the front of the conference centre around the back of the building and back to the front again. There were thousands. Unemployed construction worker John Daly slept overnight in his car to get to the top of the queue. And I felt like I idle, you know. I woke up since I was uh, 16 years of age. And how do you feel about being out of work? Pretty depressed. No. No. So, I said I worked since I was 16 years of age and I don't want to get a bit of work. You know? but it's not there, it's not there, you know. So. And back through the queue, John Daly's story was echoed by many others. When times were good, this country was fantastic. There was great money to be made and great opportunities and all the rest of it. But just like a train crash, it just stopped. And there is no sign of it turning around in any way or other. Uh, I'm married with three kids. I moved back here from Chicago about six years ago. And things are just very quiet. Had you been working here? Yeah, I was working here as a site, site foreman up to about two years ago. Things just, everything just kind of shut down. And since then? Since then, nothing. I was talking to a woman yesterday, her two sons had done my course. And she said the two of them are just sitting at home, like, Joe, they can't get any jobs. So there's no point to doing that, like. Joe, I prefer to stand in this queue than the dole queue. There's some opportunity here, like. Inside the conference hall, exhibitors were promising jobs in construction, farming and industry in Australia, New Zealand and Canada. 22-year-old welder Jason Welsh from Waterford is off to the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. I got on very well. I actually managed to get a job offer, um, so I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm in the middle of the application at the moment, so hopefully all going well in the next coming weeks. I could definitely see myself going. After two hours inside, John Daly didn't have a job offer, but he has hope. Three or four companies there were interested in quite my CV, what was on my CV. So I have to wait to see what come back to, uh, see will you come back to me, you know? That's all I can do. Another Working Abroad Jobs Expo will be held in Dublin in October. Pascal Sheehy, RTE News, Cork.